Thank you for tuning in to our family prayer meeting, a time where we come together to lift up our families and loved ones in prayer. This is a production of Lifeline Media and United Christian Fellowship of Arlington. Enjoy and be blessed. Welcome and good evening. Today we are going to move quickly into our prayer session. And today's prayer session is going to be based or anchored on the 28th Psalm. Oh, sorry, the 18th Psalm. Psalm 18. Amen. This is a Psalm of David where he talks about God as his strength and his savior um, in light of all of the adversities and all of the adversaries that he had in his life. He was surrounded by trouble. He had been surrounded on every hand by every kind of adversity. And when he had overcome one thing, he was faced with another. Sometimes he was faced with adversaries, people who just hated him without a cause, people who were looking for his downfall in his life, some actively trying to take his life. The Bible says that after David had overcome all of his enemies and he had won the victory over Saul, the Lord had delivered him from the hand of King Saul, that David penned this psalm, the 18th psalm, to give glory and express his adoration to God who had been his strength, his savior, and his deliverer. And today we want to pray, anchoring our prayers on this 18th Psalm. Because I just sense in my spirit that there is somebody under the sound of my voice right now who, is, who feels overwhelmed by the troubles and the adversities of life surrounding you. Oh, may I declare to you, my brother and sisters, or my brothers and sisters, that even when we are surrounded like David was surrounded, that we can come out with the victory when we know that the Lord is our strength. Amen. So that is the basis of our prayer today. Let me read to you the 18th Psalm. I am just going to read verses 1, 2, and 3. And um, listen to what the word says in the New King James Version of the Holy Bible. David begins, he says, I will love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer my god my strength in whom i will trust my shield and the horn of my salvation my stronghold i will call upon the lord who is worthy to be praised so shall i be saved from my enemies david is talking about the lord he says that the lord is his strength the lord is his rock the one upon whom the david had based his entire life and built his entire life not only was the lord his rock but the lord was also his fortress for when the enemy had encamped all around him and he needed a place of hiding and security he found that place of hiding and security in the Lord himself. And because the Lord is his foundation on which he had built his life so that he could not be shaken, because the Lord is his fortress in whom he can hide in, in times of distress, he says that the Lord was also his deliverer that the Lord brought him out um, from many an adversity. And he says that the Lord, again, is his strength. 
and that because of what the Lord had done, because of whom he knew the Lord to be, he says in the second verse, he says, the Lord is my strength in whom I will trust. He says he is my shield and the horn of my salvation. Oh, those of you who know um, the Old Testament know that when a person was in trouble, he could go into the sanctuary and he could grab a hold of the horns. And once he grabbed a hold of the horns on the altar, um, that, that he found freedom. Even when, um, when there was adversity, trouble coming upon him in his life. And David uses that imagery to describe the Lord. He says, the Lord is the horn of my salvation. In other words, the one that I can grab a hold of. I can hold on to the Lord and I will receive salvation from him. He says, the Lord is my stronghold. A stronghold was a place of protection, a place uh, of a protection like a castle, if you will. Um, in medieval times, they, they had castles and they had moats around them so that whosoever entered into those places, those strongholds, would be safe. The David describes the Lord as being his stronghold. Well, what is he going to do because the Lord is his stronghold? He says, I will call upon the Lord. Why? Because he is worthy to be praised. And David understands that as he holds on to the Lord, as he holds on to the Lord as the horn of his salvation, as he holds on to the Lord as um, his stronghold and place of safety, as he holds on to the Lord as his shield from the fiery darts of the enemy, that he will receive salvation from this Lord who is worthy to be praised. Amen. And so, my brothers and sisters, without wasting time, let us call upon the Lord. Let us call upon the Lord um, in the 18th Psalm, who is our strength. Today, I ask you, in the midst of your adversity, in the midst of your troubles, as you are surrounded by your adversaries, that you will not be afraid because victory is yours when you acknowledge that the Lord is your strength. The person who knows that the Lord is his strength depends on the Lord to fight for him. And this is what we are asking you to do in the moment of your distress. Heavenly Father, we come in the name of Jesus Christ because you are our strength. You are the strength of our lives. And Father, in the midst of our adversity, in the midst of our troubles, in the midst of whatsoever is happening in the lives of your children, Father God, that wants to make them afraid, we ask, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, that you would touch us, you would remind your people that you are our strength. Father, in the text, David said in the fourth verse, he said that the floods of ungodliness, the floods of the wicked, he said, made him to be afraid. I ask, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, that whatsoever flood the enemy, Father God, may be that may be rising up to Father God overtake us, that we will not be afraid because you, the Lord, are our strength. We pray, Father God, that each and every one of us, that we will find you to be our rock, that our entire lives, O oh Lord, that will be built on you, that our family life will be built on you, that our hopes, our dreams, our businesses, our careers, our jobs, our academic pursuits, Father God, that each and every one of these things will be built on you because you are our rock. Father, we ask in the name of Jesus Christ that none of us will seek to build on sinking sand. And we ask, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you would avail yourselves unto us. Father God, that you would grant us your grace 
that we may build our house, we may build our lives, we may build our children and our families on the rock. Heavenly Father, we call upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, somebody under my, the sound of my voice needs a hiding place. Father God, because the fiery darts of the enemy are coming and they are coming quickly. Oh, many times, Father God, David prayed in the Psalms and he said that even the enemy that was pursuing him was bigger and mightier than him. Father God, there are those times in our lives when we face that kind of situation. Father God, may you continue to be a fortress to your children. Father, that when the enemy comes, that we may come and find a hiding place in you. Oh, like the old songwriter said in the song, he said, uh, he said, Jesus Christ, he speaks about him. He says, the rock of ages that cleft for me, let me hide myself in thee. Father God, I pray for my brothers, I pray for my sisters, each and every one of them that is in need of a hiding place because of the attacks of the enemy coming from every side. We ask Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus that we will find you to be our fortress. Father God, as we find you to be our fortress, as we hide in you, as we build our lives on you, Father God, we call upon you and we adore you because you are our deliverer. You are our savior. Oh, Father God, the scripture says that he that has faith in God shall not be ashamed. Whosoever believeth in him, talking about the Son of God, shall not be ashamed. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ as we come today, Father God, that you would guide us. Guide us to build our houses, build our lives on you because you are our rock. That we should hide ourselves in you because uh, you are our fortress and that when we do these two things that we will receive deliverance from you because you are our deliverer the, um, david goes on in verse 2 of our text he says my god my strength in whom i will trust father in times of adversity in times when we are surrounded by adversaries, it is important that we know in whom to trust. David says in the psalm that because you, the Lord, were his strength, and so he put his trust in you. Father, we ask in the name of Jesus Christ that no, nobody under the sound of my voice, my brothers, my sisters, Father God, our senior citizens, the children, my co-laborers in this work of the ministry here at United Christian Fellowship of Arlington. Father God, we come in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, that you would touch our hearts. Father, do not allow us to be deceived. Father God, do not allow us, the members of this church, those who are under the sound of my voice today, regardless of what church that they belong to, so long as it is a church that worships our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray, Heavenly Father, that your children will not be deceived to put their trust in anything but you. Father God, that we will not even put our trust in ourselves, that we will not put our trust in any man, that we will not put our trust in ourselves, but we will put our trust in the Lord. The Bible says that we are but dust. Even whatever excellency that we have in us, it is because of the Lord that has put that which is excellent in this clays of dust that we are. The scripture says that the Lord knows our infirmities that we are but dust. Father God, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that we would not be deceived into thinking more of ourselves than what we really are. Father, that we would put our trust in you 
because you are our strength. Father God, we pray in the name of Jesus that that will be the confession of our church. And Father God, I stand today as your servant and the under-shepherd of United Christian Fellowship of Arlington. And I bring the entire church before your throne of grace, Father God, because you are our strength. And it is in you, our Heavenly Father, that we trust. Father God, let it be so for us as your children that we would not be deceived into trusting anything or anyone but you. We ask, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, that as we put our trust in you, that we will put our trust in you as our shield. In verse 2 of our text, David says that the Lord is his shield. In other words, his protector. We ask, Heavenly Father, that you would be our protector, that we would trust you to protect us from the storms. Father God, that because you are with us, that we would be filled with courage. I pray for every person under the sound of my voice, every person under the sound of my voice who is about to despair, every person under the sound of my voice whose foot is about to slip. Father God, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that we would trust in you because you are our protector. In the fourth verse of the 23rd Psalm, David speaks of the Lord as this protector. He says that, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Father God, in the midst of our storms, in the midst of our adversities, in the midst of the troubles that surround us, in the midst of our adversaries even, Father God, may your children not be afraid because you are not only our strength, but you are also our shield. Father God, even when we have made mistakes, and Father, you know, you know how many mistakes we have made. You know how many times we have faltered along the way. You know how many times we have been afraid. You may know how many times we have been doubtful. You know when we have tried to take matters into our own hands. You know when we have lacked understanding. You know when we have lacked patience. Father God, the Bible says that everything concerning us, Father God, in fact, our very beings, that we are naked in your sight. Father God, there is nothing that you don't know about us. And Father God, you said in your word that there is none righteous, no, not one. Father God, wherever sin, whatever sin may be found in us. Father God, we call on your name today with boldness because you are the horn of our salvation. Father God, even when we have made mistakes, even when we have stumbled along the way, Father God, we pray that you would give us the mind, give us the common sense to find our way toward you. No matter what the trouble may be, Father God, send light in the middle of the darkness so that we will find our way toward you. And when we find you, Father God, let us hold on to the horns. Let us hold on to the horns of our salvation. The Bible says that that is who you are. And Father God, we come in the name of Jesus Christ and we pray that when we hold on to you, Father God, that we will find mercy. Father God, wherever we have made mistakes, the, the Bible says that there is no now no, no condemnation for those that are in Christ Jesus. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, that when whatever mistakes we have made, wherever the mistakes may be, Father God, that we hold on to you because you are the horn of our salvation. Father God, you are our stronghold. You are the one who protects us on every side. And Father God, may we trust in you and may we not be afraid. Bless my brother. Bless my sister. Father God, regardless of what they may be going through, take away the spirit of fear. 
because scripture tells us that you have not given us the spirit of fear, but you have given us the spirit of love and the spirit of power and the spirit of a sound mind. We pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, bless your children, Father God, that we will not be afraid. David says that because of everything that the Lord has been to him, he says, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. Father God, we just want to take this time that is left in our prayer time before you. We want to praise your name. We praise you, Lord, because there is none like you. We praise you, Lord, Father God, because of all that you have done for us. We praise you, Lord, Father God, because even though you sit high, Father God, you look low. Father God, somebody said that you looked beyond our faults and you saw our need. Father God, because of that, we praise you today. We praise you for your mercy. We praise you for your grace. The things that we don't deserve, you have done them for us. Father God, we praise you today. Father God, when we stumbled, you were there to pick us up. Even when we fell, Father God, you did not leave us and abandon us. So we come, Father God, we praise your holy name. We are standing today as a church, despite the ravages of this coronavirus um, pandemic. Father God, it has been tough out there. But Father God, we are still standing as a church. Father God, may your name be praised. You are worthy to be praised. Even that my brother, that my sister, who is going through a tough time. Father God, the only reason that they can experience a tough time is because they are still alive, because they are still standing because of your goodness. They are still standing because of your love. Father God, when it seemed like they have nothing, when it seemed that there's no way forward, Father God, you are there with your people. You are the one who parted the Red Sea so that your children would cross over on dry ground. Father God, we come in the name of Jesus Christ and we pray, Father God, for your children. Father God, that your children, that we will not be afraid, but that we will continue to praise your name. David says that he would praise your name and he would be saved from his enemies. Father God, we ask, O oh Lord, as we praise you, Father God, that you will show yourself to be a strong deliverer. Strong deliverer. The, Bible, the songwriter said, Be thou still my strength and my shield. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, would you be that to us, our strong deliverer, our strong deliverer, who is always our strength and shield. The same songwriter wrote another verse of that song. He said, bread of heaven, bread of heaven, feed me until I want no more. And Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the time of our fear, in the time of our lack, when we don't have money to pay this bill or that bill, Father God, when we don't know what tomorrow holds, Father God, may we continue to trust in you because you are the bread of heaven, the bread of heaven. Feed us until we want no more. We come, Heavenly Father, in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We humble ourselves before your presence. We invite you, O oh Lord, into our family life. Every aspect of our family life, Father God, we open it up to you. The scripture says, acknowledge you in all our ways and that you shall direct our path. Father God, let us not be foolish enough to try to hide anything about our lives from you. But Father God, may we expose all to you that you can come even into every part of our heart. Father God, that you may enter in and anything that is not worthy of you, we ask, Father God, that you will take it away from us. Forgive us of our sins, our Heavenly Father. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We pray, Father God, for every married couple under the sound of my voice. We command every storm in every marriage in our church. 
we command that storm to, we say, declare to it, peace be still. Every trouble between any children and their parents in this church, we command it, we say, peace be still. Any trouble between siblings in this church, between church members, brothers and sisters in this church, we command it, Father God, with the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, peace be still. Bless us, bless our families, and may we worship you forever. May we worship you in spirit, and may we worship you in truth. Thank you, our Heavenly Father, for this time of prayer. We ask, Father God, that you would receive our petitions, that you would receive them, Father God, unto you, that they may be pleasing in your sight. Father God, come quickly, come quickly, our Lord Jesus Christ, and deliver your people. These are our prayers. We present them with humility and we present them by faith. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Oh, my brothers and sisters, we thank you. Those of you that are worshiping with us online, those of you that are already in the house of the Lord, for us to continue to worship the Lord in person. Amen, amen. Thank you, those of you watching on Facebook or YouTube or any of the other media platforms that you may be watching on. We are thankful to be able to watch worship with you today. We pray that you will find strength and that you have found strength in today's prayers, especially um, for your loved ones, for your children, for your husbands and wives. Father God, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that we rise from the place of prayer and that we are stronger than we were before. These things we ask again in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, everyone. You've been watching Lifeline, a production of Lifeline Media and United Christian Fellowship of Arlington. We pray you have been blessed. Subscribe to our channel and follow us online for more Christ-filled content. United Christian Fellowship of Arlington is a diverse church for a diverse world. Thanks for watching.